guys welcome to another video today I wanted to just give you a quick little like tour of the RV and everything and I thought we'd start up front know how all of this stuff works so I'm just gonna show you a few little things that I do understand and then maybe in the future we can do more in depth. To begin with we have these nice hand cranking windows super fancy I need to sneeze anyway so that's fun and the handles are like back here which you probably can't even see lock general jazz uh, ignition this is what brings it from park, reverse, drive, and such. It has cruise, but we're not entirely sure if it works or not because it did sometimes and it didn't sometimes on our way. The horn is here, and I totally almost pressed it because I didn't realize it was the horn the other day, so it's a good thing that I found that out. Uh, the blinker is this little side stick over here. It's right here. It's very skinny. Uh, the lights is like a pull knob, so you pull this. Lights are on. Lights are off. It's really kind of cool. Uh, gas and brakes are down there obviously so that's pretty much all the stuff on the steering compartment that i know it does um it has a stereo oh, that's pretty cool but i don't know how it works uh, it was not working the other day so that could be from technical personal error because i've never used one before with the knobby things or it might just not work it also has a um cassette place so that's fun the air conditioner and heater work like probably too well. They're amazing and also terrible at the same time because they work so freaking well. Vents. And then this is a clock, which I have tried setting so many times and it just will not work. I replaced the batteries. I've tried setting it. It always goes back to military time at 1530, which actually says 1538 right now. So maybe it moved eight minutes and then paused again, which is fun. And this thing is super cute. It's like a cup holder, but it's loose. So I'm gonna fix that eventually. That's pretty much it for up here though. So now let's move to the back. Okay, so when you first step into the entryway, we have this nice little entry. There's a light up here, which is nice. We'll probably tear these fixtures out because they are super ugly. Then on your right hand side, I suppose your left, my right, we have these nice little cabinets. <laughs> Uh, I really like this because, well, first of all, it's super deep, which is really helpful. It does have some water damage in the back that I'm going to have to fix. Uh, it's super deep. It's got a closet hanger. But the other thing that's really nice about this uh, particular cupboard is it actually opens into the bathroom, too, which I'll show you in a second. But it's just, like, super handy because you can reach it from both sides. So I will definitely be leaving this in. And then down here, we have a little thing that leads to some electrical stuff that I'm not really sure how it works yet. So I'll let you know when I know. And a, ah! and a fire hydrant because we all need one of those. On the right hand side, we have this nice little cupboard. It's got lots of drawers, which are kind of hard to open, but I don't feel like I need to open all these. They're all just storage. And it's got this nice space on top and there's an outlet, which is helpful. Uh, moving forward, we have the bathroom. So we're coming in here. Okay, so in the bathroom on the right hand side we have a, actually have a full freaking tub, which is super awesome. Super excited about that. It's kind of disgusting right now, not gonna lie, I would not shower in here. But it will be cleaned out. Um, and then we have a full face mirror, which is really helpful when you're getting dressed. That's my sister, by the way. And then toilet, obviously down here. There's this nice little cupboard here where I'll probably put my toiletries. However, this carpet needs to go. Oh, it comes out. Cool. Goodbye. So yeah, um, a cute little window. Oh my word, that's a terrible noise. Uh, a lot of the plumbing is underneath the sink. So there's not a lot of storage in here, but there is one little drawer for stuff. Oh, this pen. And then we have more storage here which I'll probably put clothes in. And as I was saying earlier, this mirror actually opens up into that same area we were looking at on the other hand. So I'll probably also use this as clothes storage and like bathroom storage and such. After that, we come into the living room area. 
turn on the light. So in here we have a couch. This couch actually turns into a bed, which I will show you guys later, but I don't want to put it down right now. Okay, I'm super out of breath from doing the first table, and I just spent like three minutes trying to figure out how to do this, because I thought it was easy, but it's not. Anyway, basically, you just grab here, you Ha! Ah. Voila, easy peasy. Anyway, now it's a bed, and you can sleep on it. Storage up here, there's really bad water damage all the way along here. That's gonna have to be fixed. You can probably see it, it's pretty terrible. I don't know what I'm looking for. Like all this is water damage. So that will all have to be replaced. And then there's the speakers, which is pretty awesome. And the thermostat, which the heating in the whole vehicle works really well. So we had it on for like five minutes the other day and I was like already overheating. And obviously window, I'm gonna tear these out too. Um, Might take these out, I'm not sure yet. And the couch will be staying, but I will be redoing it. Then on this side, we have some more storage that could be kitchen or whatever, just pretty much empty. And here's another cupboard, which has more shelving. All of this, I do plan on taking out and more storage here. But again, I'm planning on taking pretty much all of this out. Then we're kind of moving into the kitchen a little bit. We're still technically in the living room, but the fridge is here. So there's a fridge, pretty basic fridge. I am not a huge fan of this fridge, to be completely honest. So I do plan on taking it out and getting a new one. And then same with the freezer. Just a little freezer. But again, I plan on taking it out. Not sure what that was. Something fell. <laughs> okay, now we're actually in the kitchen. We have a nice little furnace. Uh, these things are on here because <coughs> they keep the uh, these from rattling while we're driving, but I think this the other set is actually under there now. Anyway has a super cute little oven, which I'm super excited about because I love baking. And so I'm very excited that I'll still be able to do living in the RV. So I'm very excited about that. Um, yeah, and it has a vent here. So pretty much all this has to stay where it is because of the way the electrical is going. Wallpaper, if you watch my first video, you know that I am obsessed with this wallpaper. I just think it's so cute. And this thing is from the 80s, so this wallpaper is originally from the 80s which i just am like obsessed with so i really love it and then it's also got a window here this one doesn't squeak i know that because i opened it the other day so yeah window i'm not really sure how to make it go up yet i'm gonna figure it out uh then we have the sink and oh geez i'm probably going to replace this sink too just because i'm not a huge fan of silver personally i really like gold better but uh for the aesthetic i'm going i actually might get a white sink we'll see Anyway, so that's that. Uh, I don't know what this does, but I've been informed it needs to stay here. So it will be staying. Drawer, drawer. This works the lights, I think, on the floor. So that's helpful. And then here's another cupboard, but uh, this one is possibly a water tank or a dirty water tank, we're not really sure. So we're gonna figure that out. <laughs> and then we have some overhead storage up here. And I do plan when I, oh, and the wallpaper continues inside, which is kind of cool. When I renovate it, I do plan on continuing this all the way over to the side here. So, and then we have some stairs that lead up to the balcony and this actually drops down. So it can either be more counter space if you need it or a step up to the balcony. Then on this side, we have a little kitchen table area that seats four comfortably and also has seat belts, which is pretty nice. However, I do plan on ripping all of this out. <laughs> But it also doubles as a bed. This pops down and goes on flat and it makes a bed. I'll show you guys that too when I show you the other one. Okay, I'm just gonna show you really quick how to like do the table thing. So this is kind of different. Okay. <gasps> this just pops off. It has the leg attached to it, I can tell. There's like a lip that it fits onto. I'm like low key scared for my toes. And now I'm in the way. Anyway, it just sits 
like so. And then these pop out and go in like so. Legs can just go underneath. And this one comes back too. And now you have a bed. So it's pretty comfortable, except for that it's like super lumpy, but. And then we have some nice little storage up here that you can keep stuff in. Um, I'm not really sure what I'll keep up here, but I do actually plan on taking these out as well. So yeah, there's two of them. They just have some more storage. But like I said, I plan on taking both of them out. So not really sure what's going on again. And then up here we have the loft. I actually closed this because it's kind of dirty up here right now, but I guess I'll show you really quick just like the basics. And this thing is really hard to open. So I'm gonna show you this side. Basically, this is where I'll be sleeping. I'm gonna make it into a bedroom. Uh, it's kind of messy right now, so sorry about that. That is actually a window across the back. We just put cardboard in it to keep it cooler in here, but I will probably be taking the cardboard off. So. Yeah. That's pretty much it for the inside. Okay, editing Jess here. I've recorded this like four times and I do not like how it keeps turning out. So here we are trying again. Anyway, I just wanted to pop on and say I forgot to record an outro, so that's this now. I was gonna show you guys the outside of the bus, but it just was not working, so I decided to edit it out. Anyway, so that's the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.